Let's just go ahead and get down to brass tacks, shall we? So we start off with Meech, pulling up to his spot, little Waffle House carry out. Soon as he get to open in his door, two dudes bum rush their way up out of there, knock Meech to the side, running out with some bags. The cat stack stumble out afterwards, just as noisy as he want to be, hollering, they robbed us, Meech, they robbed us. <laughs> One shit said before that door opened, at least not in an audible decibel range. Stack sounded ass as hell as Meech opened that door. He sounded mad ass. Meech fired a couple shots. I don't know how he missed at that range, but he did. All I know is Stacks is looking like the op right now. Stax might as well had a hoodie on and been running with them cats. Now, Meech sitting there thinking, Shit. MKs was waiting for me at the plug meetup. Cats coming out my spot, robbing me. He wants some answers. Heads back up to Platinum Palace. Pushes up on Angel. Asks her if she set him up the other day. Angel tells him she ain't tell no one. While they talking, Greeny come over, checking to see if everything good with Angel. He does, tells that ass to get back to work. Meech catch up with Greeny a little. Tell him it's Get Money Weekend. That Jack the Rapper convention is in town. I used to love the idea of Jack the Rapper. Never made it to one. You know, back in the 90s, it was a thing for sure, especially if you was an aspiring rapper. Meech eventually catches up with the rest of the crew back at Duffy's spot, chopping it up, trying to figure out what's what. Even got Tina up in that joint now. Tina is now part of the crew. She tell him Remy Man Claude on some Dapper Dan shit now. Nothing but designer labels on his backside nowadays ever since Meech Crib got hit up. Stacks pop up like f Remy done hit Ty. Now they hit me up. What's up? Calling me chop. Sounding like a super sucker. Meets tell them they're going to get some get back. But for now, they got to make sure mouths are fed. That bills are paid, you know. They ain't got time for the bullshit right now. Meech tells him he pawned his Rolexes so they all could have a little money in their pocket during the setback period. F*** Stack's whole world up. Tells the crew he hollered at his new plug. So they gonna be straight in the New York minute. Said all is in order. Suggested they hit the Jack the Rapper joint to see what's what. You know, see if they could build up their pipeline a little bit. Now, everybody feeling this news except Stax. Got his little panties in a bunch. Can somebody f him already? Told Meech he and his crew ain't rolling with him no more. Meech tell him good luck. Should have told him to ante up for them shits that got bagged on his watch. Stax tried to pull that shit he pulled first episode. You know, when he took his ball and went home, you know, took some of his crew and stepped out of that joint like a little biatch. Thinking the game was going to be over this time. Went a little different. His crew looking at him like, mofo, you ain't never pouring no for me. Refill my glass when it was empty unexpectedly. They looked at his ass like his first name was CC. And his last name was Peniston. Suggested he keep on walking. And that's just what he did. His ass walked up out of there. Solo. Solo.